Okay, you are in the kitchen with Jelly 007. And tonight, it is spare ribs cut St. Louis style in the Instant Pot. And we're going to do them a little different than say I do. The, the baby backs I have on uh, YouTube are cooked a little different with a more uh, bite-through texture. This is going to be a, what I say is fall off the bone, a easy to chew, uh, fantastic. I mean, the spare rib seems to do that better than the baby back to me. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm going to cut these into, I'm going to cut this into three pieces. And we're going to cook them a good bit longer than I do a, a baby back. We're going to put some uh, apple cider vinegar and a little bit of water. And then my favorite seasoning for a lot of things. And this particular recipe it is. I don't use uh, the same thing I use on baby backs on this either. I use Laurie's. And then my favorite uh, barbecue sauce. And you can use any barbecue sauce you want. But that's my favorite. It's a place in Atlanta. You'd have to most likely have to order it, but you, you, I'm sure you got your own. But that's a great one. I'm going to put them on this steamer basket. And the reason is I'm going to cook them so long. I don't want to have to handle them with tongs. I want to be able to set them out of there and get them onto a plate with as minimal handling. I, I, and I remove this right here. Mine has a removable. If I can get it to come out, it has a removable centerpiece and then it also has three legs on it i don't know if you see it or if you need to see it but that keeps it in this so it's not as likely to fall not not that it won't you still have to be careful but anyhow i'm going to get these uh get this pack opened up and we're going to get uh the, the membrane if it has it now smithfield i use i love their products i mean i use a lot of people's but smithfield i have no problem with i use a lot of their products and also uh they may have already pulled the membrane off the back because it's it's uh, boasting that pit master preferred so i'm not sure when i get in there i'm going to make sure it is off if, if it's not you've got to get it off in my opinion uh we're dealing with about 13 dollars worth of ribs so there you go i'll be right back and we'll get some of this started okay <clears throat> for the record and just for you so you know that that membrane had not been removed on the on that type some of them are i've seen them before where they're removed but it's it's rare i'm not gonna lie but all i did was took that fork and got it started. Then paper towel, you can see that every, it's what everybody uses, and you probably know how, but you know, you just want to get it started and pull that off. And that is really important, people. I've said in a lot of my videos, but you you can cook that for all you want, and you're not gonna be able to chew it. Not only that, your seasonings can get down into here a lot better. It soaks to the meat a little better, you know. No the big deal is getting it off because you can't cook it to where you can eat it. Anyhow, all we're going to do now is season it up. I just wanted to show that right quick, and I'm going to get my seasoning started, and we're going to go from there. Okay, so all we're going to do next is obviously cut these into, what I say, three pieces. So in between a bone, and they, these bones kind of hook back just a little bit, but they don't, they're not as long as they look. I just want to kind of hit it right, so that looks about right. That'll be, that'll be good. Now, we just got to season it. <clears throat> with uh my the only thing i use a lot of times i use a lot of this it's that laurie seasoning that i love put on a lot of things and we're just going to kind of lightly season it and that side is good i'd say and then we're going to uh i might put a little bit more right there flip it over and down this side, and I leave I leave that fat on there. It's, uh, it's going to cook down. There's a you can trim that if you wanted to, but it's it's just not a crisis to me. And the seasoning is is what I you know it means a little bit. It ain't no crisis if you did it without it, but because you're going to put this barbecue sauce on it, not now, but when we're done cooking it, because to get it to look right, or, or and to, and to help it, it gives it some flavor. It caramelizes or caramelizes, whatever you want to say. The uh, this right here when you put it under a broiler and that's what we're going to do there's other ways of doing it but tonight we're going to put it under a broiler and uh once it's once it's done here and uh just kind of brown them a little bit and put a little caramelization on that uh, barbecue sauce so i've already got that strainer or that uh steaming basket in there and you can see it's under my trivet so, I'm just going to set these in there. Just kind of 
no particular order. I mean, they're going to get a lot of heat and stuff when it, when this thing comes up to pressure. There's a lot going on inside this thing when it's up to pressure, and I'm sure you know that. So, I'm just going to get them so that all I'm thinking about is when I pull them out of here, I don't want them, you know, trying to flop off of there or anything. So, I got to set the camera down and try and adjust it a little bit to where uh, I got to add the liquid. So, I'm going to put one cup of uh, apple cider vinegar and a half a cup of water. So I'm not going to go straight vinegar. I, you probably could. There's no doubt. But as I've said before, I like vinegar when I'm cooking pork and I got it. So I'm using it. So I'm just going to add, and this is not, none of this has got a big, you know, spot on. It's, it, it's just close. So that's a cup and a half of liquid, one cup of apple cider vinegar, a half a cup of water. Pour that in. Put the lid on. Put it to seal, as always. Manual for 30 minutes. And 30 minutes makes some, just what I said, real soft, easy to chew, fall off the bone. And they're real easy to chew. A lot of people love them this way. So it's something that is it's, it's fantastic, honestly. And like I said, we're going to put this on in a minute. But we'll let those go. There it goes. It started. And uh, we'll come back in a minute when it's done. And we're going to do a, a natural, I mean, a, a quick release. And then we're going to put them in the oven and let them brown up a little bit. But I'll be right back. Okay, the, uh, the 30 minutes is up. So all we're doing now is... Uh, just doing a quick release and as I say in all my videos and please pay attention you want to make sure your hands to the side of that vent you do not want it above it you're fixing to see why but get your hand to the side and do that right there so if you don't well I don't have to explain that you know what that would do but anyhow we'll let that bleed uh, leave, let the pressure off and then we will open it up set them out there and see what they look like which, I ain't gonna lie, they're not the greatest in the world when you first put them out, but we're gonna make them look good. Okay, the pin dropped at, at three minutes. And just for the record, I timed it a while ago. It took exactly, pretty much exactly 10 minutes to come up to pressure. So right now we're at 43 minutes, 44 if you want to get technical. And that lets you know about how long it takes to, uh, you know, cook these. But anyhow, we're going to open the lid, and it's going to have some steam coming out. So, And like I said, we're going to make them pretty, but let's see what they look like. And as you can see, the steam's coming out. They don't look bad just like that. So, I mean, obviously, you could eat them like that, and I assure you, they're done. They're well, they are done. So, you see the bones have pulled back on that one right there, on a couple of them, or on all of them. They've, you know, got good, that's what I look for when I'm cooking ribs. So I'm going to set this down and I'm going to lift it out of there with these, uh, let's see if I can just do it with it running. Let's see if I can, uh, get that out of there and set it on this board. Then we're going to transfer them to what we're going to put them in the uh, oven with. So I have the steamer basket, so I don't have to pull them out of there one at a time and risk, you know, breaking them up in the pot so so far so good as you can see in fact i might move that down just a little bit where i got room to put my uh where would it be? right there but that'll be. put this right here this is what we're going to put them in the oven at on and then uh i would like to do that by hand let's see And I am. I'm going to get that off. which is, And then this one right here, it may not come by hand. I'm going to go ahead and assist with uh, these things that never want to open. There they go. All right. Set that one right there. And this one right here. Now all we have to do is get some of this stuff out of the way. And, uh, Put some Fox Brothers on it. And, uh, in fact, I'll, I'll grab the camera right quick and show you what they look like out of there so you can get a little 
a little better idea. They look great. That, that's what it comes down to. And I, I guarantee you those are easily chewable. And, and you, I ain't got to tell you they fall off a bone. I can pull on that right there and it will come out. So that is, in fact, one bone did fall off. So anyhow, we're going to put some uh, Fox Brothers on it, which again, any kind you like works. I like Fox Brothers. Uh, so, some people here like Stubbs. There's a lot of different ones. You, you know what you like. You know, I ain't got to, you don't have to, you know, get, and I will say, if you want to know if I can get it to focus on there, and that might be tricky, but right there is where you get this from, and I assure you, this little restaurant, I'm, nobody's paying me to say it, I promise you, I've ate there one time, and I'm going again very soon, because I'm going to, a, anyhow, long story short, there's where you can get it, there's their website, it's a very good uh, product, I, I love it. But to get this going, we're gonna do this. Just put some on the on the ribs. That may be actually it is upside down from what I want, but that's no big deal. I can fix that. And just gonna smear it around. This is actually the back side, or that's what I wanted that when I got upside down. But this is the the back side of it. You know what I'm yeah. So, anyhow, all we're doing is putting uh, a coating of barbecue sauce. And uh, when we get that on there, let it sit just a minute. Kind of let them sit just, just you know, just not long, but I'm going to let them sit a little bit. And then we're going to put them under that broiler. And uh, if you've ever watched one of my videos with a broiler, uh, I always say, never walk away from anything you have under a broiler. And that's the only drawback I, I would see to this. I, you know, people are busy. Everybody is, they're in a hurry. They're trying to do 10 things. Well, this is just, in my opinion, not something you wanna rush. When you get to this point, you know, have somebody else do whatever you were doing. <laughs> Tell them you're gonna be gone a minute because you've got to go sit and watch your broiler because you can literally, as bad as it sounds, you, not only can you burn your food up, but you can burn you can burn a lot more than your food. So just just pay attention to it while it's in there. I mean, it's not going to take that long. And y'all know how to do this. So I'm going to shut the camera down and I'm going to get my broiler started because I want it uh, cherry red before I set these under there. Because I don't want them under there long. I just want them to do what it's got to do. So I'm going to again. I'm going to shut the camera down. I'm gonna finish putting that, the Fox Brothers on there, and uh, we will uh, slide them under that broiler in a few minutes. I'll show you what it looks like. But be right back. Okay, that is uh, how I want mine before I stick them in the oven, and or under the broiler, I should say. That is, uh, you know, not overly coated. That's about two of those small ramekin. Uh, that's a small ramekin. I'm not sure if that's a normal size, but you can see about what it is. That's a 16 ounce jar, and it was already open. So, I, you know, just use common sense. And I mean, you know, I know you know how to judge that. And uh, there's a there's a good coating on both sides, about like that. And you can also see if I can. I'll see if I. You can see I've got my broiler, and it is cherry red, as I said. And I've got my rack in the top position. So it's not going to take long. I'm telling you, that's my point. Is uh, you got time to do this without leaving? You know, I if I you know I won't even say a time. I don't like to say times. You got to watch it. That's what you got to do. And all we're going to do is one side. I'm not going to try and do either side, both sides. So that all that said, I'm going to set those in there right now. And I got me a chair <laughs> that I'm going to sit in. And I highly recommend everyone do that. And I know you're not crazy, and I'm not trying to say you are. I'm just saying, you know, if if you got if if you want to uh, if you, if you're so busy, you don't you need to slow down for this point. That's all I'm saying. I don't say it no more. I'll shut up about it. But uh, a lot of times I'll even leave this open, and I can look right in there at it. Uh, if it starts smoking, I'll also know right away. You know, so. Anyhow, I'm going to let that go for a few minutes. It's 7.57. You can see by the clock right there. And uh, I'm just going to watch it. And I'll 
bring y'all back in a minute and show you what it looks like when it gets started real good. So. Okay, you see it. That's one minute. I'm hoping you could, you'll be able to see that it is already got some stuff going on. I mean, it is doing some stuff right now. So now I got to fix the camera, see if it goes back to the normal place. But you can see, I'm fixing to pull them out. And there's that makes two minutes. So you see what I mean? You know, you stay on top of it. In fact, I'm going to pull them out. See if I can do that with the camera running. I'll see. But I don't, maybe not. Them we'll just pull them out and just see what they look like because I think they're done. I mean, that, you saw how quick that was and we can get an idea and you can put them back. It, you see how long it took so there's no big deal if you go back and forth with them. And You can see what they look like right there. Now, I mean, to be honest with you, they were fine to eat the way they were. I mean, a lot of people just do this, and I'm not saying it, I'm not against it. I mean, it makes them look a lot better. Uh, that right there, I mean, I'm going to, actually, I'm going to take my brush and move some of this around just a little bit, and I'm going to stick it back in there just a second. And uh, I ain't got to tell you that... That right there is plenty good to eat right there. You can spend all the time you want to if you wanted to, but I think that right there will do. But I'm going to stick it back in for just a minute for whatever reason, just because I can, and I'm standing here, and everything's hot. So I hate to go on so long about how quick that is, but you see, it's really quick. So just, just keep in mind that... uh. You don't want to leave this, especially the way I have it set up, which is top shelf on high broil. So, you know, just be safe. That's it. You know, just cooking food. Don't want to cause any big issues. And I think we're fixing to call that done. We started at, I think it was 757. It's 801. And they are completely done so I'm gonna shut this off and that's all they're getting but I'm gonna shut the camera down where I can get it set up and get a plate out here and I will be right back okay there they are I just set them down right after I said it I mean you can see it's still 801 on the clock so I mean I, that's all I've done to them I'm gonna cut the broiler off and get that plate I was talking about and we're gonna put them on here and I'm gonna eat one of them okay it's been a few minutes maybe five eight minutes I let them rest just a little bit and I mean, you see them, they look perfect, uh, and I'm sure they are. Uh, one thing I'll say is that, I mean, yeah, you, I, I love them, you know, I love them on a green egg, or, or I have a green egg, and I love them on that. I love them on the grill. But you really can't beat this being as easy as it is. I mean, if you think of uh, 30, 10 minutes come up to pressure, 30 minutes cook, that's 40 minutes. Well, the grill, you might could get somewhere around that, a little more than that maybe, but you're standing there flipping the whole time. With this, you're pressing buttons. It's hard to beat. I mean, look at this. Look at the look at that pullback on that bone. And and this one too. I mean, the bone will come right out. I mean, it it's, a lot, it's just what it is. In fact, I'm kind of partial to this one right here. I'm just going to break it up. I mean, that, that's what it does. It, that is, if, it's, if that's not fall off the bone... I don't know what it is. I mean, they've fallen out of it. And they are absolutely, you know what ribs, they're as good as any way you can cook them. There's a lot of ways to cook ribs, and a lot of people do it a lot of different ways. You can't beat this convenience. I mean, the Instant Pot is a, a really bad device. It really is. And there's nothing wrong with it. I guarantee you could put this up against most people's off the grill if, if they could get them this tender, uh, you, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't tell them apart other than theirs would be you could ribs off the grill. So, anyhow, I'm going to hold up for 80 more. I'm telling you, it's, you saw the bones come out. It's fantastic. It's a great way to cook them. I don't have to preach on that anymore. So, anyhow, in the kitchen with Jelly007. You can find me at Mr. Jelly007 on YouTube, that's the only name I could get. 
or you can find me at www.jellydevil07.com and like and subscribe if you want. I always say it, but that's not what it's about. I just want people to enjoy cooking and eating. I, I love to cook. I love to eat. <laughs> it's a everything. Every day is a, a, an adventure with a and, and an instant pot. Well, I mean, it has filled my. I've had one. I had, actually had electric pressure cooker to begin with. I ended up buying an instant pot because I like it. I gave my electric pressure cooker to my son. But it's an absolutely fantastic device. It, it cooks things way faster. It cooks things different, but much better most of the time. I mean, I found some things that maybe I was on the fence with, but no, -uh. most of the time it says good or better so much faster. Uh, but anyhow, I'm going to shut up. Y'all have a good night. Come back to see me and uh, cook some ribs. Okay, I, I was afraid I would do this. I always do when it's this good. And I'm not really trying to push this as hard as it sounds like I am, but I mean, you look at that. I mean, that right there, there's the bones from my first rib. They're clean. I mean, they're cooked off. And look at the other one with the bones hanging out. I add, add a little bit of that Fox Brothers sauce, and this is the ultimate meal and the ultimate way to cook spare ribs especially I mean St. Louis style cut but spare ribs in general you could do the Kansas City cut I think they have they got two or three cuts you could do any of them as long as you can fit them in that end spot this is what it'll do to them so anyhow one more time y'all come back to see me y'all have a good night